beloved in Christ. At this Christmas tide, let it be our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind, go even unto Bethlehem to see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought to us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all God's people, for unity within the church Christ came to build, and especially in our Southern New England Conference of the United Church of Christ. And because this would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus or love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon a different shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are one forevermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. God announces in the Garden of Eden that the seed of woman shall bruise the serpent's head. They heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the time of the evening breeze, and the man and the woman hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I command you not to eat? The man said, the woman you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly shall you go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Thanks be to God. Christ's birth is foretold by Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, 
Upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God. The peace that Christ will bring is foreshown. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall also dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God. Jesus 
The angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto the city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. When she saw him, she was troubled. She cast in her mind what manner of salutation this may be. The angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. The Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom shall have no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be? I know not a man. The angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also, 
that holy thing shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaiden of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, 
to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God.
the shepherds go to the manger. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward all. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Thanks be to God. Hello, my name is Reverend Darrell Goodwin, and soon I will serve as your executive conference minister here for the Southern New England Conference. Hear the word of the Lord, John, the first chapter, the first through the 14th verse. I'm gonna be reading from the message version. The word was first and the word present to God. God present to the word. The word was God in readiness for God from day one. Everything was created through him. Nothing, not one thing, came into being without him. What came into existence was life, and the life was light to live by. The life light blazed out of darkness. The darkness couldn't put it out. There was once a man, his name was John, sent by God to point out the way to the life light. He came to show everyone where to look, who to believe in, John was not himself the light. He was there to show the way to the light. The life light was the real thing. Every person entering life, he brings into light. He was in the world. The world was there through him. And yet the world didn't even notice. He came to his own people, but they didn't want him. But whoever did want him, who believed he was who he claimed and would do what he said, he made to be their true selves, their God selves. These are the God begotten, not blood begotten, not flesh begotten, not sex begotten. The word became flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. We saw the glory with our own eyes, the one of a kind glory, like father, like son, generous, inside and out, true from start to finish. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
on behalf of the Congregation of Central Church, welcome to this carol service, this service of scripture and song that celebrates the gift of Jesus Christ, his birth among us. I would usually be inviting you to our silver tea following the service, but not this year. But so many are already looking forward to next year when we can together be when we can be together again and greet new and longtime friends. So do mark this Sunday for your calendar in 2021. And now just a few simple questions. Did you feel the mystery of last week's snowfall? Have you felt the sunshine glimmering through the clouds? Did you see in someone else's eyes the vision of love? Did you sense in yourself the capacity for a new chapter in your life? Have you felt hope, joy, peace, and love, even in fleeting moments? These are God's gifts to you. My question is, are your gifts to God in proportion? May each of us be channels of God's grace, for it is in giving that we truly receive. Let us freely give.
Accept, O Lord, these gifts and our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. Above all, God, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit that we may know Christ and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places, may we give thanks to you in all things. Amen. May he who by his incarnation gathered into one all things earthly and heavenly, may he grant you the fullness of inward peace and goodwill. And may the blessings of God Almighty, Creator, Christ, and Holy Spirit be upon you. 
and remain with you always. Thank you.